Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Cosi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I'd like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, it's a big week, packed with exciting stuff as always. Gonna start with the Marvel guys, because we're talking a little bit of Marvel legacy these days. This is Black Panther number 166. Black Panther is Marvel's next big movie star. Uh, this gets his title back to its original numbering, uh, going all the way back to the 1970s. You can read more about this one in our newsletter. Black Panther is one of my favorite characters because I'm a big FF Avengers fan. Glad to see him getting his props along with Captain Marvel also uh, returning to her original series numbering going back to Ms. Marvel number one way back in the day. Uh, she's another one of Marvel's next big movie stars in the uh, MCU round three. Lots of other Marvel legacies to talk about, like Amazing Spider-Man, one of the biggest titles in comics. This is the second part of the uh, fall of Peter Parker. That's 790. Despicable Deadpool 288. Also going back to its original numbering good stuff, but a lot of this legacy stuff keeps their regular series like X-Men Blue or All New Wolverine or Jean Grey along with US Avengers. That's all your uh, current Marvel legacy stuff, but other Marvel books haven't quite caught up yet. This is your new issue of Ben Riley and your latest issue of Weapon X with uh, Weapon H there on the cover. Everybody's been talking about Hulk Vereen. If you don't know much about what's going on in Weapon X, you may want to pick up the latest issue and catch up with that. Daredevil and The Punisher are your Netflix stars. Both of these titles will be getting renumbered, but not just yet. These are the last issues of uh, what's currently going on. Punisher the Platoon is another Punisher book from Garth Ennis writer of Bourne and a lot of other great Punisher stuff along with a hundred other awesome titles. If you're a Punisher fan or if you just like that dark stuff that Ennis does, you want to catch up with that. Silver Surfer is one of the books that's unfortunately not getting renumbered for some reason. I'm not sure why they're not continuing him in the uh, Marvel Legacy stuff. This book has been really stellar and a lot of fun. Might be flying under some people's radar. Thanos there's another one waiting to catch up to its uh, Marvel Legacy stuff, along with Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series, and Thor, Where Walk the Giants, rounds out your Marvel stuff. Unless you're talking about some Mace Windu, that's your Star Wars book of the week. Always encouraging you guys to jump in on this Star Wars stuff. Marvel's been doing a great job with all of that. Good fun. And it's a big week for DC. Let's talk a little metal. This is Batman the Merciless. That's your uh, Dark Knight's metal one-shot for the week. Your cool, shiny cover. Uh, the reprints for all the other Batman one-shots are out this week, so if there's anything you missed out on, like Red Death or whatever any of the other ones were, Murder Machine and The Drown and all that good stuff, you can pick up those this week. The Flash is your other metal tie-in book for the week. Though this one doesn't need much help. It's already one of the biggest books DC has. There he is taking on the Red Death. That's cool. Action Comics. I used to refer to uh, the week of Action and Detective and Legacy, or Action, Detective and Wonder Woman as Legacy Week, but Marvel kind of stole that word from me. This continues the Oz Effect stuff. This is your Lenticular cover for the week. Lenticular. That's good fun. Action. Wonder Woman. Another one of the biggest books in comics these days. Good fun there. And Detective rounds out your uh, Trinity books for the week. I love when Action Detective and Wonder Woman come out in the same week. DC House of Horror is a supersized, big old anthology book. Some scary, spooky stories from the DCU just in time for Halloween. DC loves to do these... Uh, holiday specials with Halloween and Valentine's Day and Christmas and whatnot. Everybody loves spooky scary stories starring Superman and Batman. Uh, like I say, it's 10 bucks. It's a little pricey, but it's super sized and it's a lot of fun. So recycle some cans and squeeze that into your budget. Batman Beyond. Batgirl. 
Gotham City Garage and Nightwing New Order or all your other bat type books because there's always lots of bat stuff to go around. Justice League of America is one comic that has Ray Palmer on the cover. I'll show you another in just a few minutes. Suicide Squad, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, and the Teen Titans are your team up books for the week. Everybody's into the Teen Titans these days. And Blue Beetle rounds out your DC stuff for the week. Lots of good stuff there. And it's a great week for all the other guys too. Really great week for my friends at Dark Horse. How about some BPRD? You know I'm always talking up the Mike Mignola books. Love me some anything Hellboy. Buffy and Angel both out this week. So all you Whedonverse fans get your double dose of Buffy and Angel. Everybody knows I'm a big Angel fan. They're both into season 11. Good stuff. And Rebels rounds out my Dark Horse stuff just because I like to show you that it's not all uh, licensed stuff and property books. They also have a lot of creator owned titles. Rebels has been uh, really cool. So if you're into war comics or history stuff or what have you, it's a good book to check out. Saga is your image book of the week. Probably the second biggest book they have behind Walking Dead. That and Outcast are probably your image books for the week, but Spawn is my image book for the week because I like talking up Spawn and Savage Dragon and some of the uh, original image titles that are still rolling. Spawn, uh, even though Greg Capullo jumped to DC, Spawn still has some of the best art in comics. So if you're a fan back in the day, you might want to catch back up with that one. Speaking of great stories and great art, this is Jughead the Hunger. Really been talking up all the great books Archie's been doing lately. Uh, this is part of their horror line with Afterlife with Archie and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Uh, everybody knows I love me some Jughead. I love what they've been doing with their scary stuff. Also perfectly timed for Halloween. Don't miss out on that one. The Shadow is my dynamite book of the week because I love me some pulp heroes coming back to comics. X-Files is my IDW book of the week because I love me some Mulder and Scully. This is the JFK disclosure, so they're uh, getting into some conspiracy theory stuff on this one. Lots of fun. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is your Boom Studios book of the week because you love anything with the MMPR. Eternity is my Valiant book of the week because I'm always encouraging you guys to have a Valiant book on your list. And this one's a good one. Bloodshot and Exo Manowar out this week, and they're also both really solid titles. Uh, if you don't know much about the Valiant Universe, grab one of those Volume 1 trade paperbacks and check out some of the stuff. If you're a fan back in the day, or if you're just into cool superhero sci-fi stuff, Valiant's got a book you want to check out. Dark Ark from Aftershock. Don't talk a lot about Aftershock comics, but uh, this is a really, really cool book. We got the reprint for number one in last week. Uh, you can check out the review for this one. Grab number one, grab this week's number two. Aftershock has a lot of cool comics. And Soulfire is my Aspen book of the week because I really appreciate that these guys keep the My Michael Turner stuff going. Uh, if you're a 90s, 2000s fan of comics and you know and love and remember Michael Turner, then uh, you're really stoked that they still do Soulfire and Aspen and some of the stuff that he started. And it's a great week for all ages stuff too. You know I've been talking up the Archie stuff. This is an Archie 1,000 page giant. I've been talking up all the modern stuff they do, but this is a big 1,000 page collection of some of their classic Archie stuff because they still do lots of the good old all ages style Archie. Uh, like I said before, I'm a big fan of Jughead, so uh, if you haven't checked out some old classic Archie, grab a big old 1,000 page tome like that one and get your fix. And I talked a little bit about The Atom. This is your other cover with Ray Palmer. Love me some Scooby-Doo team up. Uh, this book has just been genius. If you love Scooby-Doo, if you love uh, a lot of the Warner Brothers, Hanna-Barbera stuff, uh, they're just excellent team-ups, kind of fun for all ages, fun for the little kids, fun for the big kids. They've got a couple of trade paperbacks. Uh, if you're picking up Justice League of America this week, pick up some Scooby-Doo team-up and get even more Ray Palmer. And Samurai Jack is my last all ages book of the week because I love me some Samurai Jack and I'm really stoked that they uh, have this guy in comics and brought back his cartoon for a little bit. If you don't know much about Samurai Jack, you should pick up the trade paperback or just grab the recent series, pick up a DVD. Really one of the best animated series out there. 
Good, good stuff. Lots of great books this week, so make sure you check your shipping list and get down to your shop, pick up something super awesome. I want to tell you that this week is the Black Cat Comics uh, Halloween Spooktacular. Do not miss out on our big sale. Uh, free comics are giving out. Going to have lots of fun stuff going on. Got another swap meet on Sunday. Do not miss the swap meet. You can come out, sell some stuff, trade some stuff, or just come pick up, uh, shop around from the tables that are set up out there. Swap meet's always lots of fun. The Spooktacular is always lots of fun. Uh, go to HalloweenComicFest.com to take a look at the books. Go to BlackHatComics.biz events page to see all the things we got going on. You can read more about it in our newsletter this week. Lots and lots of fun, so don't miss out. And uh, happy Halloween to everybody. Stay safe and sane out there. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out at BlackHatComics.biz. Check us out on our YouTube channel, on Facebook. Check out our podcast at SoundCloud.com. Or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.